Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to try and understand UiPath Inc. We're going to try and see both the bull case scenario and the bear case scenario. Right now, it's sitting at about $64.92 and with a market cap of $33 billion. Let's look into the bull case first. Daniel Dines, he's the CEO and founder of UiPath and he's still running the company. So it's a founder-led company. It was founded back in 2005, and the owner and founder is still running it. Now, next, UiPath is investing in some IPO proceeds towards a Microsoft-level world-class channel. So with the IPO that they came out with this year, they have about $600 to $700 million cash on their hand in order to invest and do, do some research. And they're trying to un build something onto the level of Microsoft. There's more, something interesting. Some of the co-founders and the CTOs, the main people, they were from Microsoft. So they moved from Microsoft and founded this own company with UiPath. So they already have a very good background with Microsoft. And here, they're trying to compete with Microsoft and Salesforce. And that's a good thing. Now, what is UiPath? UiPath is into basically RPAs, which is Robotic Process Automation. So imagine you have some mundane tasks that go on on a daily basis. You can bring in a software like UiPath. For example, every time an email comes in, your job is to copy the contents of an email into an Excel file onto your computer, and then color code it based on the amount type of content that is present in it. So that's a mundane task, and you don't need much of brain power in it. For a task like this, you could, you could bring a software like an RPA or a UiPath and come in and train the software to, to look into your email and whenever an email of this sort comes in, copy the content of the email and put it in the, this Excel file and whenever you see some, some content that you need to color code it. And all of this can be managed through the use of RPAs. And right now RPAs are growing up on a massive scale. So if I look into the top, 10 or top 15 RPAs, you come across these companies like Rapice, Blue Prism, and then right there you have UiPath. And here in this particular case, you have UiPath right on the top. So about 5,390 reviews, about 4.6 out of 5. And most of these reviews are back from 2015, 2018, 2017. So it, it's been a company which has been around the block for quite some time now. Now look at this is the top 15 RPA companies and UiPath is right on the top. So it seems like one of the market leaders out there. Now, if you look into the insiders shares, it's about 24%, which is relatively high and a very good thing. So you can tell that they have their skin in the game. The founders have their skin in the game. And Charlie Munger mentioned you know, show me the incentive and I'll show you the outcome. So these guys have huge in incentive to increase the share price. Now, if you look into the institutional owners for this company, there are quite a bit of institutional owners who are continuously buying even up till yesterday. So there's con constant interest coming out from the institutional investment and art investment run by Cathy Wood is the second largest inter institutional investor for this company. If you look into the combined holdings for ARC, she, she has it under all almost all her, her ETFs, and she's been buying ever since the IPO came out back in April. So that was more of the bull case scenario. Now, let's try to understand the bear case scenario. For the IPO that they came out with, so we don't have a lot of financial information, but as per this article, it looks like UiPath reported an annual recurring revenue of about $652 million, which is a very good thing. And it's an increase of 64% year over year. And last year, the revenue was only 186 million. That's a huge increase. And that is majorly because of the COVID era, because of people working from remote, trying to understand and companies were trying to move on to the more remote and online basis, and that's where RPAs came out and they were more prominent. But now with the COVID going away a little bit and come people going back into the workforce and right into the offices, we don't know how the RPAs will hold their ground even now. But again, at the same time, 
you're still working with people who are not interested in going back to the office but want to do work from home. And that's where probably RPAs could be helpful. But now this is a time where the market in general is euphoric. It's bloated up like anything. And according to the intelligent investors, they give a caution, the sense of caution, especially for IPOs. So look, at, look into these quotes from the Benjamin Graham intelligent investor. The market is a pendulum that forever swings between unsustainable optimism and unjustified pessimism. The intelligent investor is a realist who sells to optimist and buys from pessimist. Weighing the evidence objectively, the intelligent investor should conclude that an IPO does not stand only for initial public offering, but more accurately, it stands for it's probably overpriced, imaginary profits only, insider's private opportunity, idiotic, preposterous, and outrageous. So they're basically giving a caution against investing IPOs, especially in this era. And if you look into the data Roma, this gives out, it, show, it shows out all the super investors and some insider activities. So if you look in the insider activities from most recently, there have been a lot of selling going on. Most of the selling happened on the IPO date of 23rd April of this year, but more recently also they have, you've noticed a, quite a bit of sales. Now sales does not specify anything because sales could be for anything or everything. So you can't really understand what the sales is, but Monish Pobrai says sales could be for anything, variety of reasons, but if a person buys, if an investor is buying, then it means that the price is less, is cheap. But you don't see any buying going around here. It's more of selling. And this is very typical of IPOs where the founders and the insiders, they want to you know, give out some shares out of the market to make some money. They feel rewarded for that hard work that they spent over the years. This is very typical of an IPO. But yeah, so something to keep an eye for. Next, if you just type in RPA companies, like we saw in the bull case scenario, a UI path was right on the top. But at the same time, there are so many other RPA companies out there. Some of these companies, which are probably not even in the public market, but they are out there. And for a new person or a new company who's trying to understand and requires RPAs and they don't know about UI path, they have a lot of competition already present in the market. So I don't know how strong this moat is. And I'm not in this domain. It's difficult for me to understand how strong the moat over here is and how difficult it is to destroy a company like UiPath. So we don't know. Now let's look into the valuation. This company has, was back from 2005. And right in 2015, you have a little bit of track record of what the valuation was for their inside investing. Uh, look into 2018, they were valued at $1.1 billion. Right now, it's at $33 billion. So just three years ago, it was valued at about $1 billion. So in a three-year span, the company almost became 33 times, 30 times. Now, next, you had back in again, 20, 2018, you had $3 billion in value. In 2019, you had $7 billion. 2020, it was valued at 10 billion and now in 2021 it's down setting at about 33 billion dollars so did a lot change in the company we don't know but that's something interesting to look into so just want to share this with you with that take care stay safe bye-bye